Helldivers, the popular game taking the YouTube community by storm. This game has many people wondering how the popular creator, Hayden Johnson, is going to capitalize off its success. I just want to see what Hayden Johnson is going to do. I mean, that's what really matters, am I right? You're exactly right, Dominic. That is what everyone is. Helldivers' historic rise to global dominance. Many are left wondering. Where is Hayden Johnson? And what will he do next? Alright, right off the bat, let's just get one thing straight. Yes, I know Helldivers 1 is kind of already a 2D game. I mean, obviously more like a 3D isometric maybe. And no, I did not know that when I started this project. But before we get going, this is a tiny channel with only 1,100 subscribers, so if you're interested, hit subscribe, the bell, and let's see how fast we can liberate YouTube in 2024. Oh, Alright, this whole thing started because I wanted to mess around with a 2D version of the movement and shooting mechanic from the game. I just love how the character's aim is slightly off from the mouse and somehow it, it just feels so real and organic. So I set up some simple movement and added some lag in the rotation as the character rotates to look at the target. Then I added a marker to show exactly where the character is actually looking. And I made it look like your hand is shakier than my coding ability. I added a simple background texture because I needed to see myself moving around. And then I get started on the enemy's AI. I started with your basic sight radius, so if you go and Range, circles are gonna get mad but then i built these randomly generated nests and i can set the number that spawn and they make these little clusters of three enemy spawning nests and actually the point of the game is going to be to destroy all of these i created an incredibly complex algorithm to randomly distribute these around the map and then they spawn the enemies and you can see oh you need to not responding no 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 ah! Okay, as I was saying, the nests spawn enemies. Now, I wanted the enemy AI to actually feel like a colony of bugs. So, when idle, each bug will venture out in some random direction. Then, after some time, they actually move to the center of the other bugs that they're close by. This creates a sort of expand and collapse pattern between all the bugs. This went through a lot of tweaking, but I was really happy with the movement in this last time lapse. Okay, now I started what is arguably the most important part of Helldivers. Stratagems. I built some sprites for the arrows and created a system in Unity that would allow me to easily create a new stratagem and display the code with just a few clicks. Seriously, just duplicate this, add a new name, add the stratagem code, and bada bing, bada boom, you got it. Oh, hold up. Uh, yeah, okay. Bada bing, bada boom, new stratagem. Come on, give me some credit. I was really proud of that. <laughs> Now I spent some time upgrading the map once again. I gave the grass this little wiggle animation when something touches them. And oh my goodness, I don't know why, but I love it so much. Like so much, like, so, so much. Much, 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 much. Just look at the bugs running through all that grass. Speaking of, it was time the bugs had an upgrade of their own. I decided to create the warrior from Helldivers since it's kind of a mid-level enemy that is roughly the size of a human Helldiver. I said roughly, okay? With those new animations, the game was already looking so crispy. And then, I added Bloom. Wow! Okay, remember those stratagems? I don't know if you've played Helldivers, but stratagems actually aren't just there so that you can decorate the environment with pretty white lights. The orbital strike was pretty easy. Rocket goes boom. Then I added a turret for the Gatling Sentry. And let me tell you, this thing is a beast. I added a resupply module and created a little fly-in animation for the Sentry and resupply module. Then I made the Eagle Cluster Bomb. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, the game was a little bit too easy. I brought way too much firepower to a bug fight. Enter the spewer. This bug is somewhat of a tank, but actually has a ranged attack. It spews this nasty bile, hence the uh, name. In the design, I decided to make it about four or five times bigger than the player. This one was so much more fun to animate because the increased size meant I could add more detail. I gave the spewer the ability to shoot bile at the player, and I'm telling you, you do not want to get hit by this stuff because even just walking through it on the ground is going to hurt you. I finally added some juicy blood so that you can actually see the damage applying. And now it's time for one of the best parts of game development, playtesting. And oh my goodness. I made this game so hard at first. To balance this game, I had to decrease the warrior's speed, quadruple the player's ammo, increase the player's damage, increase the player's health, increase every stratagem damage, decrease all the stratagems, cooldown time, increase the view distance, and so much more. I'm just kidding, that was it. It's really not that big of a game, actually. 
I added a menu, a death and windscreen, a timer and death counter. And honestly, I couldn't decide if the score should be based on kill count or the fastest time. So I'm just going to call this a new game feature. Now you can try to beat your high score by getting more kills or a faster time. It's it's up to you. And listen, I know one of the best parts of Helldivers is playing with your fellow man. So if this video gets 100 likes, I'm going to update the game to support multiplayer. And I'm going to play with as many people in the Discord as I can. I'll also add as many suggestions as I can from the comments on the itch.io page. So make sure to leave an idea. All right, here's some gameplay.